Hello and welcome back. This is Dalen75 Games. You're watching my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 Sons of Abraham. Now, it is the year 945. Our king, who was <laughs> felt like a few videos ago was only just came of age, is now 57. We've been playing for, I guess the game started 867, so about 80 years, close to 80 years. Um, so we're we're at a civil war. I haven't played for it was the third today. I haven't played January third. I haven't played since December twenty seventh. So it's been almost a week or a full week. I guess this is our ally because they're blue. Blue is ally. Red is the enemy, and green is our armies. Looks like we settled down for a siege of metal pad. So who is the instigator of this war? It is my kinsman, the one that I raised and educated, that little bastard. He's 40, and this is what he does to me. I think this is his, his home province, his home county. But he became, and, and I made him a Jarl, which is a big mistake. Uh, he basically, well, for some reason he controls Narik outright. Um, and that could have actually, now that I think of it, because his mother, this guy's mother was the Asa of Narik. That's why he inherited that spot. Uh, couldn't tell you how he got Varend. It's his wife. Um, okay, well, what about her parents? How he got this side in his force. This is small land. The, the uh, Jarldom is small land. How he got that, I don't know. Uh, we have another independence. First person pushing for independence. Jackass. We don't need that crap right now. Uh, honorary title. Cutbearer. 15. Now where is he? He is... Well, his name is Gudmunder. So he's right there. This guy cannot move forward. He can't move for a while. He's right here and here. This spot. Trying to impress her, which is not necessary cause now because she's a hundred opinion. We need to put him in Vestfold. All right, so that's for the future. Speed up time. And they don't have much of an army. All I see is this force right here, and our allies will probably come up and rape them. Yeah, I made him my cupbearer. So that's. I think that's one of the highest. Uh, positions of honor you can have. Well, obviously, I don't particularly like this guy. My opinion is minus 51 of him. It doesn't matter. It's them liking you is what really counts. My liege, I hope fate finds you a child that uh, finds you well. A child needs proper guardian. Okay, so now I haven't played in a while. Oh my god, look how many kids I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one because one was murdered. A few years back, uh, six years ago, because his twin is tw 31 now and he died when he's 25. Okay, so my <clears throat> original, my eldest son, he likes me very much. Um, okay, so this, look at the sons. I have three, four sons in total that are alive. All right, um, this one is Prince Toller. He's the heir to Kingdom Norway. This one. He's the prince of Svithyod. Svithyoth. Svithy Svyoth? Well, I forget. Prince of Svithyod. He is the heir. Prince Bjorn. Okay. He likes me a lot. And who could use a tutor? I guess the s second youngest son. I would like to tutor him myself. He's my... The same name as my real son. I was hoping he would end up being king. Educate child. It'll have to be me. As far as I know, I'm not educating anyone at the moment. Now, I would like to educate the, the future king. Now, what does this guy have? Oh. Oh, he's homosexual. At age 15? That's... Do I have that right? He can't be 15. Six. Uh, I'm not sure what the heck's going on. Oh, Dalen, his older brother is Toller. Okay. 
I just wanted to see my son Dalen to see what he looks like. Okay, I'll, I'll just educate him now. What are his attributes? Absolutely nothing but cynical. I was going to say, how the hell did, was he 15 and had so many attributes? <laughs> Suddenly he aged nine years? Okay, so his older brother from the same mum, from the same mother, older brother from the same mother, homosexual. He's getting educated, is he not? He better be. Proud, Roth, Gregarious. Gregarious is okay. What does his mother have? His mother is a brilliant strategist, and that's a big part of the reason why I married her. And I, she almost has as much martial as me. That's very, very rare. So, I mean, she's... What the hell's Impaler? She likes to spend the nights in the dungeon inventing new ways of torturing unfortunate victims? It's kind of horrible. And she's 39. Wow. Last thing I remember, she was in her 20s. I actually married her right when she turned 16. <laughs> I was her abductor. She likes me 25. Um, I would really like... Court Jester makes them hate me more. Okay. That's not what we want. Oh, yes. I wanted her to educate another of my children because it makes her like me more. But this is not her child. Um, this is this is her real... No. Man, we're having children with everybody. This is a concubine I took. She's Egyptian. Oh, we were down there uh, raiding. That's right. I'm just taking concubines everywhere. She had a, a daughter with me, and I think, yes, uh, she was. This was not the Queen of England. I thought she was. Actually, it was Queen of Kent, which was like a breakaway place. Uh, I thought she was the Queen of England, but she's not. But she was still a queen. So and she really hates me. Actually, she's Castilian. So somehow she married the guy from Castile. Uh, they're not doing too well against the Umayyads in North. North, uh, would not Spain, I guess it's Iberia, the Iberian Peninsula. I can find someone better. Now, okay, so I have a daughter with her. And I have another daughter with the other concubine. So, the means is we're okay. The rightful queen has a son. I better not have any more children with anyone. Um,. The worst that could happen is I have a child, a son with a concubine. I have three concubines. Now, where is she from? She's French, Frankish. How old is she? She's 34. She can still have a child with me. Um, let's see. This one is 39. Likelihood of having another child with her are very small. And the last one, she's 45. There, there'll be no more children with her. Done. So, it's either going to be the current queen which will be unlikely because of her age, or from this Frankish woman. I don't even remember taking her. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Did I see her name right? She's a Carling. That's rich blood. That's the heir of Charlemagne. Family. House Carling. That's, quite, that's probably why I took her, because the prestige from taking a woman from that. Well, she absolutely hates my guts. Honorary title. Oops, don't want that. Demand. So I can't... I would really like to have the current wife, who is Catholic, to convert to Norse. That would be awesome. Okay, let's crush this rebellion. My grandson, Jedvard, makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount of whatever sweets the cook gives the children. Uh, I am proud of him. He gains the trait just. I, I do like that trait. Uh, so, sorry... We are educating two. My son and my grandson. And who is his father? He died. So did his wife. Eric, uh, the hunchback. He was going to be king originally, and he was assassinated somehow. Okay. Kind of feel bad for the kid. No, I didn't do the assassination if you weren't watching previous videos. I don't like doing that to my own children. That's disgusting. Um... Oh, we have somebody, Peasant Revolt. Peasants have risen up Nordland, led by a disgruntled former soldier. Where would that be? Ah, okay. It's not that large of an army. We'll have to crush it after Metal Pad. Are we even taking it? We're not raiding, are we? What's going on? All we have... Okay, we have a 
siege is right here. And that's all there is. Okay, we've taken it. Now let's march forward and crush this rebellion while we can, and then come back to Hell Go Land. They don't really seem to have any kind of army to face against us. So it looks like our our king. Okay, he's he's got the Norse look, but his other brothers have the the Gaelic, the Celtic look of redheaded boys. I think Norse can also be redheads. Fiery redhead brothers. I don't know if that's good. It might give me problems in the future, and that's not what we want. We lost our marshal. Period of illness. Well, we need a new marshal ASAP. And we need to put this guy in Vestfold. Okay, a point. Um, who is this? He's my son. He was the one that was going to be king. He is a pretty good, pretty good traits. Oh yeah. Hunter, temper, patient, cruel, gregarious. I wouldn't mind if he was king, to tell you the truth. He's, what, 40 now? Yeah, I like him a lot. His mother died. Unfortunately, not a very good death. She died from leprosy, and she was blinded for about the last ten years of her life. Keep going. About to fight the peasants. We outnumber them several times to one. Three times? More than three times? Just destroyed them. Okay, uh, they're going to Halligan. That's where we want to go. We seem to have all this under control. It looks like they have a lot of our territory, but in truth, they don't. Not power. The cook complained to me about my son Dalen's temper tantrums. Apparently, he punched her son in the face again. Beat him into being calm. Encourage him to be more patient. Gains a trait patient. 50% uh, chance. 40% to lose the... And 10 for nothing. Encourage him to be patient. Uh, I guess nothing happened from that. People dying all over the place. The slow fever. Sounds like what I went through. Gunner of Nordland, Peasant Revolt has been imprisoned. Yes. You are a traitor. Demand English religious conversion. He wasn't even our religion. Um, sometimes banishing can get you. You know what? I'm going to just leave him in prison. That's all I'm going to do. We need someone to execute. And who is he? He's Old Norse. We need people to execute, so let's leave him in prison. Let's hurry this war up. I don't know who these people are that are being imprisoned. A destitute noble from a former enemy court asked for permanent hospitality. Welcome him to your court. I gave him a soldier, Hrodger. That's fine. We're going to need someone to replace my kin. Who turned on me, the bastard? What's our income? Well, with our armies raised, we're still getting four. Monthly income thirteen in total is not bad. Kingdom of Norway counties. He get the. He's going to get a lot of things. If we need to. Um, Go to another civil war because of my brothers. Then so be it. I'd like another person in here. There. I guess since he's... Oh, we need to actually have him do something. My, uh, <coughs> my old, eldest son. Eldest living son. 
How is tech? We haven't looked at things in a while. Looks like we can get town infrastructure. And as far as I see, that's it. Duke Lo Lothar of Brunswick. Oh, her territory is shrinking. Wow. It's time to go in for the kill. We've got Finland to take. I wouldn't... I don't know what's going on there, but uh, we want the rest of Sweden. Yeah, she says Queen of Denmark lost. So she she's now losing territory, which I think is kind of funny. She really doesn't have much. I don't even know where her I guess her capital is Jyland. Oh, I lost my steward. Died a natural death. Quite a lot of that going on. Okay, so his stewardship is 18. That's pretty good. Varangarian. Oh, two Marshall. That's really good to start out with. So what does my king have in total? He's a brilliant strategist. He's a genius. I wish that trait passed on to the children. Twin. He's scarred. Gives a little bit of prestige. Viking. Um, more prestige and plus one Marshall. Just... Very good. Patient. I really like that trait. Proud. It's alright. Zealous. I like that. Plus two Marshall. And Diligent is also a really good one. This place is now completely in our hands. Yes. Well, I don't see any... They don't have much of a military, so let's... I don't know why they haven't surrendered yet. Come on, guys. Prince Toller of Svipyad is now of legal age, became a skilled tactician. Oh. Um, we should marry him. Uh, regardless of him being gay, he still needs to be married. Zealous, ambitious, Roth, gregarious. She's not bad. Maimed. That's not a very good trait to start out with. Her health is low. Um, Asa Chieftess of Clydesdale. No, none of these people are my Craven. I don't like Craven. I don't like cowards in real life. I just can't stand the idea. Wow, marrying a homosexual to homosexual. How would that work out? <laughs> no, she's Craven. Proud, kind, ambitious, gregarious. She's not bad. Uh, Norland. She's my vassal? Where... You know what, I'd rather she just wasn't even in the kingdom, to tell you the truth. This is a Hungarian here. It says we're limited to marry other pagans, which I think is kind of weird. I think, I guess we're outside of the sons of Abraham. Proud, deceitful, charitable, Midas touch, wrath, shy, proud. Who is, what's this one? Greedy, envious. She wants to marry a ruler. Hmm. What's this? I've never seen that. Quick, the character is brighter than most. Interesting. I don't even know where that is. Actobe? How about we... Eh, Toro Pets. I'm pretty sure she's not ours. Zealous. Ambitious. Roth. Gregarious. Well, she's maimed. Just go with it. Matrilineo. Yes. Accepted. Now, when she becomes of age, he'll marry her. I don't think he'd be too happy with that for two reasons. For one, she's she's a woman, and for well, he should know he has to. And for two, she's maimed. But regardless, she's looks like a sweet little girl. Be good for him. Jedvard asks, "Why did you let off that peasant accused from poaching? Because he needed the deer more than me?" Oh. 70% for kind and 30 for just. Kind. He gained the kind trait. Oh, okay. So he made that guy investable and happy. Uh, he likes me a lot. Now, who are my detractors? Or at least who's the lowest who's not a mare? This guy. All the way up here. Okay. Stuart is not doing anything. 
Research economy tech. What's this? We propose a white piece. Hell no. So you keep the lands? The slow fever seems to be going around. Well, when I first started up the video, there was a lot of sickness going around. He wants to become Chancellor. Uh, that requires high diplomacy. I don't know what he's thinking. Let's see where she is. Way far in there. We have no desire to ever go up that far. Toro Pets right here. My prisoner, forget it, let her rot. Castle Town was built in Hatuna. We've been attacked in Upland. Okay, ho 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 ho. Hatuna. Oh, this is not a. I was thinking I built this, a city. No, it's just a castle town. Just like I said. Stables, barracks. Uh, hmm. We're also here. Nothing much here. I think we need more money. Or maybe not. Castle Shipyard. I'm just looking for the, uh, the way a way to make more. To have more income. None of these will do. Okay, then let's go to the smaller ones. Tax Income 3. Okay, Town Market. And then there's Port as well. Let's go for Town Market. Most of our income. Bam, just gone. So, our victory is up to 93%. Oh, my kinsman, he died? I, I don't know who he has died. In the dungeons of somebody... Some peasant revolt. Okay. Oh, he was... <laughs> The son of the guy I'm fighting right now. The only son, unfortunately. Oh, no way! Are you saying the guy I'm at war with, his son married the Queen of Denmark? <laughs> that is the Queen of Denmark. Oh, weird how that turned out. Open council position. We need a chancellor. Didn't we just replace him? Or I guess not. He just died. This guy's really good. 23. Improve relations with this fellow up here. All here is whispering when I'm in this page. Um, also, let's look to see where she is. She should be proselytizing. Is she right here? She's in here. Yeah, it's Old Norse, that's why. Yeah, she needs to be there. Ninety-two percent. War is almost one. Oh, and the guy I'm fighting, his wife died of poor health, so he's having bad luck. His son and then his dot. Oh, he's got a lot of children. His two eldest have died, though. His wife is dead, and he's at war for his life, and unfortunately. Uh, I'm not going to be very nice to him because this is a really nasty war that he started up. My son Dalen is modest and humble, never showing off or bragging. Thank. Uh, what are these? Wrath and proud. I'll encourage it to be modest. He gets humble. Plus one piety, I think. Doesn't help. I mean, Roth. It's a hot temper, but um, you get better, Marshall, for that. <laughs> Don't know who that is. People are just always dying. It would be cool if we could merge kingdoms. King Snorri of Denmark. Where is he from? He's Norse. Where was he born? Who are his parents? They're both dead. Looks like she married a commoner. To me. I can't be sure of that. Probably within her own kingdom. And her capital is Jyland. 
not for long we'll be taking it from her I want all the Norse places and we have to get back in the British Isles really fast okay we have a child ransom of course So we've taken there, and we're at 100%. This guy has to surrender. He accepted. W w w wait, wait. Did I die? I died. I did not inherit, inherit a few territories, and it looks like the kingdom of Norway as well. Oh boy, we're going to be in for a massive war now. Um, Bjorn did not inherit Bjorn, Bjornson the Wise. Claim on the county of Dahl. That's, that's going through all the places. The war against the tyranny of Fjölker Bjornson has ended. Fjölker Bjornson lost? How? Your father. My father is Bjornson the Wise. Who... Yeah, it should be Bjorn. Okay, it says my father. It's over here. But who is this guy? Oh, uh, the pictures are screwed up. They're the opposite. Wow. Talk about fractured. No, we need to go to war immediately. Where's our military? But why am I shown here? <laughs> Bjornsson lives. Oh, look at this. Jeez. We are not too well liked. Oh, this could be really bad. Can it at least say what happened to his father? His picture's changed. How did he die? Wish it would say. We need to find out what happened to him. We have, I uh, don't Yeah, I'm gonna pause it here, here and, and look. It says that... I'm gonna look to see what happened, because he, he actually shows him being alive. He's not dead. Uh, this looks like a big bug to me. I can understand if he died. King Toller of Norway. He's the one I married off to that girl. Um, hmm. It's me. I am super confused. Is he, he's just five years old. I might have to reload this because that makes no sense. How did I lose the war? Did I choose something? I might have to reload from the beginning of the year because this is this is insane. I don't mind even dying. I just it doesn't make any sense because he's still alive. All it says is that he lost the war. And Bjornson the Wise has arrived at my court. Okay, this, this is insanity. We're gonna reload. Uh, I guess we have to quit, resign, quit to main menu. I'm going to reload if there's something that the crazy madness that happened. I don't mind going for war for the whole kingdom. It's not about keeping the kingdom together. It's just about how it makes it's no sense. <laughs> I fully expect that to happen, what just happened, but it needs to be logical. I'm at war. So here we are last time. We're sieging this place. I'm at war. Okay, let's get back to where we were. 97%. This, this is okay, 100%. Now, offer peace. Enforce demands. I think I went to the wrong one. Okay, enforce demands. There. Now that makes sense. I won the war. So if I lost the war, I lost the kingdom? That's really strange hold a great blot 
Okay, first off, let's see if that guy is in our prison. What is his name? Bercy? The one that just rebelled against us? Yes, Bercy. Uh, is that top three? I don't know who this is, but I don't want to hold children in here. How long has she been in jail? Probably a while. Let's just release her. Who is this? Pora? Is she one of the ones that was giving me trouble? I think she was. Okay, well, let's hold the Great Blot and kill that bastard who basically completely rebelled against me. Summons are sent out. Declared Ivar were on Jarl Bercy? I'm not sure what, what that's about. Anyways, we need to disband. Fleet as well. No, we don't need to do the fleet. Um, hmm. Military, retinue. Doesn't look like we can have any more. Two out of 2k. What do we have here? Yeah, it's 100 heavy cavalry and 400 light cavalry. It's not bad. I, wonder, I wish that we can have those pikemen back. Now for the human sacrifices. Oh, new tech, possibly. Yes. Whoa, we got really well in military. Whatever I want, eh? Military organization. Definitely. We'll have more retinue now. Okay, so that's just for the army. Nothing else for any of the other ones. Probably don't have enough. It's military. 3k. Uh, I don't want to get another one of those. Yeah, I want pikemen this time. Gunnar is going to be executed. Don't really know who Gunnar was. Um, whoever. We caught her in one of our raids. I think they only do three people. I want Bursi to be in there. If not, I'm going to keep on saying... No. No, perhaps is a bad idea. Oh, please. Yes, Bursi. Yes, and that only proves my devotion to Odin. Oh, look at this. As they place the noose around his neck, Bercy cries out to you, Don't do this, Bjornsson. We are family of the same blood. Yes, that only proves my devotion to Odin. So I get nothing bad. <laughs> oh, it kind of sucks. I raised him as a, a child. He was my nephew's son. Sacrifice over. Let the celebrations begin. Alright, that's long enough for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.